Hi, and welcome to the first of a pair of videos that I hope you'll find super helpful. I'm going to investigate the sound differences and the playability differences of the same exact kind of pick in different thicknesses. I know when I've bought picks in the past, especially when I got into blue chip um, for the very first time, um, I was looking at the shapes that I wanted and the bevels that I wanted, but I had no idea of what the thicknesses really affected in real life. So hopefully I'll be able to explain that to you. So I said this is a pair of videos. Today I'm going to be focusing on blue chip picks. Um, next time will be tone slabs. So I have three picks here, and I'm going to keep these in the same order on the table here so you'll be able to see which one I pick up. So on your left um, is the pick, the blue chip Tad 50, which is approximately 1.3 millimeters thick. It's not quite perfect. It's 50 thousandths of an inch, um, but... Uh, 1.3 is about what I keep in my head. The middle pick in this sequence is the Blue Chip CT55. Extremely common pick, uh, 55 thousandths of an inch or about 1.4 millimeters. And the third pick is the Blue Chip TAD60, which is about 1.5 millimeters or 60 thousandths of an inch. These three picks are, um, as I've demonstrated, different thicknesses. There is one other thing that's a little bit different. The CT55 pick has a very slightly different bevel and tip shape. It's very subtle. Um, it's basically the same as the TAD. I can feel it. I don't think it's going to affect the sound um, super significantly. Um, the next test uh, with the tone slabs will be a lot more pure because they're the exact same type of pick. The only thing different is the thickness. But I think you'll still be able to tell on the blue chips here um, what the sound differences are. So a lot of the time I'll be testing just between the TAD50 and the TAD60 picks just to kind of provide the most difference. And then I'll occasionally bring in the CT55 as kind of the middle one to, to show um, some of the differences there. So I'll start off with the TAD50 um, and I'll just play some open strings slowly and quick and you can kind of hear the attack and the ring out and the different harmonics it has. So in that first little bit, um, I notice the things that are going to be somewhat consistent as I play along. The thinner pick, the TAD50, tends to have a little bit more pure frequency, the actual note per full noise of the pick. The TAD60 has a little bit less than note and a little bit more click, a little bit more thunk, and a little bit more of the surrounding harmonics around the fundamental note that I'm actually playing. That remains fairly consistent. Sometimes I think the thicker pick sounds good, sometimes the thinner one. I'll try to give a couple ways where that shines out a bit more. Um, something that I think makes it really stand out is playing across multiple strings like chords, things like that. So I'm going to do something from the Red Diamond Waltz by uh, Scotty Adams.
I'll do something as smoothly as I can. Do something with a little bit of combined strings and keeping the pick strokes a bit faster. play something pretty fast, a lot of repeated notes pretty quickly. Try that one more time, see if I can get it more consistent. So beyond the sound, some things that you can't hear that I can feel as I'm playing. And I think it came through in that last bit. The TAD 60, the thicker pick, 1.5 millimeter, feels thicker and it feels a bit more clunky, especially when you're trying to do fast passages like that. It's a little bit harder to move around. It's not as um, fast. I've heard of some other people describe it. The thinner picks can feel faster. The one thing that I think a thin pick, especially once you get too thin, um, can get into is something that I call honkiness. It kind of makes this sound a bit honky. Um, on my mandolin, the A string especially can get the most honky. So I'll demonstrate that by kind of running through the different pick angles that you can play with and you can hear how honky the thinner pick gets. And then I'll do that same range of angles with the thicker pick so you can kind of hear um, how honky that one gets. So I'll start with a, a pretty steep angle, which is not very honky and get flat, which can get pretty honky. Let me do a scale. There's pretty flat. So I started angled, went flat, and then I ended up angled, maybe a little bit more angled than I'd normally play. So now that I'll do that with the thicker pick. I'll start angled, go flat, go angled. So that gives you a range of some of the range of sounds, or it gives you a feel of some of the range of sounds you can get with the picks. I'll just try to do the honkiest I can do with both of the picks. Hopefully you can hear that. Let me do some um, bigger strumming patterns and then I'll start doing some things with the CT55 as well. Everybody's favorite ringtone.
your differences there. I'll do, I'll start with the thin one again, the Tad 50. And I'll do a bit of Goldberg variations. Um, and I'll just start from the 50, go to the 55, and then the 60. and I'll start with the thin one again. So now I'll do a different patches. So now I'll do a different passage from Goldberg, uh, starting with the thin pick again. So now I'll do a different passage from Goldberg uh, with the thin pick and then through all three again. Sorry for doing that so many times, but I think there's a interesting thing that the CT55 does. It has a few more overtones, um, kind of than I would expect, and I think a bit of that is due to the, the bevel and the particular tip shape that it has. So maybe as you listen, you heard that, maybe you didn't. It's all up to the ear of the beholder. I'm gonna do two more things. One last passage from Bach, and I'm gonna show you what it sounds like way up the fretboard. There's an interesting difference to hear there. Thank you. 
send some stuff way up high. So as the thick pick is not quite as fast, it also seems to have a little trouble making the high notes ring out for whatever reason, not quite sure. Um, and the thinner pick tends to do a little bit better there. So hopefully this has been helpful. I'm about to do a similar recording with Tone Slab, so go find that one if you're interested as well. Thanks.